What's going on everybody and welcome back to a Fortnite on the Isle, my bi-weekly update series. This week, got a little bit of uh, talk to do at the beginning of this video before we get into the reading and writing and all the stuff like that. Um, for those of you who don't know, there is actually a Kickstarter now for um, Empire of Silence Diamond Edition. So that being the first book in the Sun Eater by Christopher Rocchio. This is a series that I've been championing for a long time. At this point in time, unfortunately, all of the actual books... Uh, the revised books themselves are sold out, but if you want to support the Kickstarter, you can still get a poster uh, for that has the new cover art for it, which is actually really sick. So if you want to pick that up, you can. The, the, this version of the book will also include a new novelette with Bassinger Lynn, a character from the book. Um, basically, I think it's a tale in, set in between Empire of Silence and Howling Dark, so the first two books actually t it tells a portion of uh, the tale in between those two books. So anybody who's interested in picking that up can actually still get that as well if you back the Kickstarter at the very lowest tier for only like $10. You can get the ebook version, which I believe will include the new introduction for M the revised version of Empire of Silence and that novelette. Unfortunately, the ebook will not have the book because of licensing and legal issues um involved with how many copies of empire of silence christopher is allowed to you know publish um but that is a bunch of stuff that i'm not going to get into too many more details with i just wanted to say that up front and thankfully as well just in sort of a more irl sense this has been a long fortnight but fortunately unlike the last update that i did i am not dying and needing sleep like i was last time i'm actually feeling rather hyped and jazzed and even though i didn't sleep for very much last night the kickstarter and all that stuff that i just talked about actually did a lot to you know kind of make me feel excited today so i'm glad i'm actually recording this when i am but now that i have said all of that let's get immediately into the bi-weekly reading what I have already read the last two weeks. Now, the last two weeks are might seem a little bit more tame compared to the last fortnight previously, uh, just in terms of what I read, both in terms of how many things I read, but also uh, the complexity, I suppose, of what I read. But in a way, I'm actually kind of glad for that, even though I did spend a good amount of time reading the last couple weeks. Um, it's nothing like what my coming months are going to be like. Let's start off with the fact that I did now finish The Lost Hero by Rick Riordan, so first book in the Heroes of Olympus. Absolutely holds up for me. Easy five stars. A lot better than anything in the Percy Jackson series, in my opinion. Um, next thing I read, I talked about that a little bit more in the last update, if you're interested. But uh, I did also read the debut novel by Philip Chase, The Way of Edan, the first book in the Edan trilogy. This was one that I had... I mean, I'm not going to say like surprisingly a lot of fun with but i had a surprising amount of fun with it just has all of the best vibes of classic or traditional fantasy but without being a clone of any particular traditional fantasy work and it flips a lot of the tropes that it uses on their heads so it makes it really fun and interesting to read all the way through i cannot express how excited i am for the second book and the rest of the trilogy in general to be published this year i will be reading each book the month after it releases or you know essentially the month that it releases for all intents and purposes i could not be more excited to do so philip chase did a great job with this i did actually record a review uh for it which we will talk about here in a second uh but outside of those the next thing that i did read was i managed to read all of the son of neptune by rick riordan so the second book in heroes of olympus um i think it's pretty much at the same level of quality as The Lost Hero is, all things considered. But if I had to rank the two, I think I would rank Son of Neptune just below uh, Lost Hero, just because both of them are, uh, in terms of their formula and their pacing and whatnot, they're very similar to each other. But also because Son of Neptune uh, has some things that makes it feel very similar to some things from the first series, Percy Jackson and the Olympians, which makes sense because Percy is you know, one of the main characters of the Son of Neptune. With all that being said, that is all that I read the last couple weeks, but next week is going to be really crazy with the stuff that I start reading, and we'll see what all I get through and what happens. I'll talk about that obviously more in the next update, but the reading wrap-up in TBR, I'm probably going to talk a little bit more in that as well. I believe that 
I'll have that video up in two days if I'm not mistaken. So if you're interested in that, please go check that out. Next up, we're just going to talk about the bi-weekly riding. So this section is going to be a little bit different than normal because I didn't actually do any actual riding this fortnight. I think it's the first, the first fortnight so far that I haven't actually made progress on something. Um, but there's been a lot of like sort of back end stuff and like plans that I've been making and other stuff that I'm looking to get, you know, taken care of here in the very near future that are related to the writing without being the writing itself. Now, let me explain. First off, I am done with pre-writing stage two of the Reign of Ash sequence, which was, you know, the expanded summaries and whatnot. I explained this in the last update. And as such, I am imminently preparing to begin stage three, which is outlining. So all of the full outlines for all 19 books, which will be a long process, but I am very soon going to start working on that. I think over the first part of this coming fortnight, this coming month, you know, however you want to think of it, I think I'm going to do be doing a little bit more uh, revisions on stage two before I actually start stage three. So we'll see uh, what I actually managed to get done before the next one of these updates. But like I said, I am imminently planning to do some of that outlining very soon. What was actually kind of funny about uh, the bi-weekly riding was, even though I had committed to taking the rest of April off um, from doing any of this stuff so that I could let my brain rest and do some other things and, you know, whatever the case may be, uh, reading The Way of a Dan actually made me really want to dive into writing like immediately every single day that I was reading like there were some days while I was reading this book where I just wanted to put the book down and come write and that, I don't mean that in a bad way for the book because I was enjoying the book and but it was the specific way that I was enjoying reading that book that made me just want to come write all the time it was a fantastic feeling actually I really uh, enjoyed that but I did hold back but here is some news for things I'm hoping to get done this month um, I'm redoing portions of my website again. It's been long, long overdue. In fact, I should have taken the website offline for a couple months there at the end uh, because I had, I've been grossly neglecting it uh, for the most part. Uh, hopefully that will only be until June. It potentially will be until July. We'll see how quickly I can get those edits made, especially since I will be in integrating a newsletter, hopefully, into the website as well. At first, the newsletter is just going to be for acquiring email addresses for people interested um, before I actually start, you know, doing the actual meat of the newsletter later this year at some point. But the newsletter uh, plans, at least, for the newsletter will be that it will be a weekly writing update, basically with, like, exclusive stats that only people, uh, you know, subbed to the newsletter will be able to get. Each newsletter will include a new password to access a specific website page associated with those stats. Like I said, they will be exclusive, and therefore, if you want to be able to access the new stats each and every week, you will have to be subbed to the newsletter to get the new password to continue to access that page. If that makes any sense, I hope it did. If you want more in-depth writing stats than just what you get here, since I kind of like go over things broadly and generally on these updates, I'll be more specific and I'll actually like kind of explain some of the things that are going on there. Obviously not spoiling anything that I'm writing because what would be the point? Um, if you want more in-depth stats, consider joining the newsletter as soon as I have some of that stuff going online. And furthermore, further down the line in the future, these are like long-term plans. There may come additional benefits to being subbed to the newsletter in the future. But I will let you know as soon as I have the website and the newsletter and other statistic integrations and stuff with like Google Sheets and whatnot up and running. That ends this section of the bi-weekly writing. Again, I didn't get any actual writing done, just been doing some other stuff on the back end that is related to the writing. But let's move on to the coming releases. First off, this Tuesday on May the 2nd, like I said, will be my April reading wrap up and May TBR video episode 79 of the book binge. That one I'm actually really excited to get into because at least at the time of recording this this morning, uh, I have some exciting news to be able to express in that video. And furthermore, you know, I'm excited to cover what I read in April, but I'm really excited to cover what I'm going to read in May and some of my plans moving forward with that. That'll be really exciting. Uh, on May 9th. So next Tuesday will be my review of The Way of a Dan. Like I said, I got that review recorded. I think I mentioned that I recorded that review. I hope I did. Maybe I forgot. I don't remember at this point. Um, but I did get that review recorded. I had a great time with that one. It's a little bit on the longer side, which I apologize for. I, you know, my longest videos don't tend to get the best performance. But that's totally fine. 
I hope people consider watching that review and furthermore consider reading the book because I think it is very worthy. And I'm not just saying that because I'm friends with Philip or whatever. I go through all of that in the beginning of that video. I don't know Philip very well. I recommend the book because I really enjoyed the book. That's all there is to it. But for this Thursday and next Thursday, the 4th and the 11th of May, we'll, I'll be starting my Wheel of Time Diary series, which is, you know, stuff that each Wednesday morning, once I get done reading, I'm going to come over here, record a sort of reading diary type of thing where I start off with um, non-spoiler, you know, just thoughts on what I read over the past week, but then get into spoiler talk of you know, the more specifics of what I read and what maybe I liked or disliked or things, thoughts on specific scenes or, you know, whatever comes to mind. I'm going to be starting those because, uh, this is kind of a spoiler. I am starting Eye of the World here on Monday, so tomorrow at the time of this video's release. So each Thursday, I'm going to be doing that for the duration of this book. And theoretically, I think I'm going to do it for the duration of every Wheel of Time book as I read them. Um, we'll see about that, though. It depends on how well they do. Although I We'll probably do them anyway just because I can. Either way, that's what these Thursday videos are going to be about. Also, I should also mention that um, on my second channel, which is linked in the description below, King Crusoe VODs, um, I am finally going to be publishing uh, my old Let's Play backlog videos from 2020. So I'm not going to say that they're any good. In fact, I would say that most of them are very bad. I would not necessarily recommend watching those videos, but very soon I will also start releasing um, some new videos on that channel, but for now, over these next couple weeks, the first handful of my 2020 backlog uploads, I think, believe, uh, for the Kingdom Hearts Final Mix Let's Play that I did a few years back, those will be starting to publish, and, uh, this weekend I'm actually going to be working on another project for that channel as well that I'm very excited to do, and uh, hopefully this weekend as well, but most likely not until next weekend, I'll finally be putting together some of my other let's plays with josh that i've done of remnant from the ashes for that channel so if you want to check out that channel if you're into gaming if you're into let's plays i recommend you go check that out it would mean the world to me thank you in advance if you do but no worries if you don't if you're not interested in that kind of thing perfectly perfectly fine next up we're going to get into entertainment talk which i don't think i did anything new this fortnight in terms of gaming or watching stuff or whatever the case may be. I mean, I suppose the Kickstarter, I could technically maybe fit into this section, but I already talked about that earlier, so I'm not going to. Um, but just as I mentioned in accordance with the second channel, I am very soon this weekend going to finally record a playthrough of the uh, first Crow Sworn demo, so a game that's similar to Hollow Knight, I suppose is the best way to sell it. Did a Kickstarter a couple years back that I backed, um, so I got a demo for it. In fact, recently I did actually get the Crow Sworn plush, it's right there, uh, front and center in the videos, essentially, and I actually really like his positioning. It's great. Um, and I also got a t-shirt for that as well. But I'm going to be recording myself doing a Let's Play of that demo. So it's I think it's just the first. Or I think it's just one of the bosses of the game, essentially. And I want to do a video of me playing that for the first time. And then I also want to try doing one where I try to perfect the fight as best as I can, since I'm not particularly great at 2D uh, Metroidvania combat systems. At least I'm not great at perfecting them. So I, I want to see what I can do with that. So that's what I'm going to work on at some point this weekend. I also ran recently a small poll in my Discord server. The server isn't public yet. As soon as it is public, I will put it in all of my uh, future video descriptions going forward. It should be fairly soon, theoretically. Probably when the website and everything else is also up and running is when I will get that one running. Um, I did run a poll for the next game that people want to see me record a Let's Play of after I'm... Uh, done with doing stuff with Remnant from the Ashes with Josh or solo stuff, you know, whatever the case may be, depending on what one. Um, it looks like my next solo Let's Play, or at least very relatively soon, a solo Let's Play of Resident Evil 4 Remake is going to be on the docket. That is a game that I never played the original of. I never played the original Dead Space either. That got quite a, that got a few votes, I should say. Um, both of those are games that I decided, hey, if I'm going to play these, why not just do them as Let's Plays since people would be able to get to watch me be scared out of my pants and, you know, <laughs> just have a fun time with some horror games like that. So I figured, why not? I'm going to do that some point this year, uh, hopefully. I'm not sure entirely when, especially since I might record a little bit before that. I might usurp the, re the, 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 the results of the poll uh, and record a... Star Wars Jedi 
survivors star wars jedi fallen order kind of duology of let's plays before that since i'm hype since i'm very hype for that sequel despite it apparently having terrible performance on pc i'll have to see what it's like on ps5 first um but i might want to do those first i'm not entirely sure if i will if i do i'll immediately go into resident evil 4 after that if I don't decide to do the Jedi games first, then I'm going to do Resident Evil 4, hopefully relatively soon, preferably in the next couple months if I can, and therefore be able to publish them theoretically later this year. Um, so basically, all that is to say, um, go check out the second channel if you are interested. In the future, I'll also continue to use polls and Discord for selecting one of my next ongoing playthroughs, uh, Let's Plays and stuff like that, and also... Uh, at some point, I'll start doing polls for determining some of the stuff that I read next as well. So uh, if you are interested in the Discord, keep an eye out. I will start linking that very soon. Uh, keep an eye on the website. Keep an eye on the second channel. Keep an eye on the newsletter. All of that stuff, it would mean the world to me. But now that I've gone through that, I believe everything that I needed to get through in this video is gone through. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Thank you guys for watching. If you made it all the way through... I really appreciate it. Go ahead and leave a like on the video if you want to help boost this video or, you know, boost my channel in the agri in the algorithm, so to speak. Actually, this Saturday, my uh, my April wrap-up is going to be. I didn't put that in the coming releases. I forgot to. There's going to be some cool statistics in that that I'm really excited to talk about. So if you want to help push my channel out in the algorithm, I appreciate that. I'm going to end the video here. I'll be back on Tuesday with my reading wrap-up and TBR, like I said. I'm excited for that one. See you guys then.